You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rodriguez for Black and White Sports 2. Well, I got to just tell you right up front, this is one of the strangest stories I can remember reading about in a long time. And it's a little different for this channel. Um, but I think I used all my notifications over on the big channel up with the, the, the Memphis basketball player. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and put it over on this channel and we're going to see what it does. Uh, we got a, 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 an LA chargers player that is claiming he has been assaulted sexually by an airport security person. I, I saw this and was kind of like dumbfounded. I was like, this is just strange. Let's do this. Larry Brown sports. Los Angeles Chargers defensive lineman Sebastian Joseph Day says he was a victim of quote-unquote assault. I'm trying to clean this up for YouTube. At an airport on Friday, Joseph Day sent a series of tweets after he claims that he was quote sexually assaulted by a TSA agent at John Wayne Airport in Orange County, Florida. The former sixth-round pick said he was swarmed by TSA agents after he felt one agent cross the line during a security... Wow, a security screening. This is nuts. Okay, so he sent this out right here. I really just got sexually assaulted by TSA at John Wayne Air after I asked the gentleman to please stop because I'm uncomfortable and I feel that this part of the check is unnecessary after he felt what was needed. Oh, no. Then they told me I was the problem after three TSA agents swarmed me. I'm all for people doing their job well, but it was extremely unnecessary and dehumanizing. I travel a lot for personal and work reasons. I've never experienced anything like that at John Wayne Air. And when I do try to file a complaint, they're making me jump through hoops to do so. I'm sharing this on Twitter. Not sharing this on Twitter for sympathy. I'm sharing this so this group of gentlemen and staff aren't allowed to ever do this again to another human being at John Wayne Air, City of Irvine, at OC Sheriff, OC Governor California. Wow. That is absolutely nuts. It is unclear if Joseph Day filed a complaint with TSA or the police. Joseph Day was drafted by the L.A. Rams. In 2018, he signed a three-year, $24 million deal with the Chargers last season. The former record star played in 17 games last year, 56 tackles, two sacks, an interception, and a forced fumble. Wow. That's absolutely Nuts. That's not something you expect to hear or see from anybody, really. But an NFL player, a big-ass NFL player, I mean, just keeping it real, a defensive lineman, that's no chump, okay? Um, so he is claiming that I guess he was felt on too much. Yikes. There's absolutely going to be more to this story that comes out. I don't know what happened here. All of this is allegedly at this point. I mean, we just don't know what happened uh, for sure. We know what he is saying. And if this really happened to him, shit, man, I feel terrible for you, okay? I don't know. I've seen videos of TSA and some strangeness, strangeness going on, old people and all kinds of things. This, that, and the third, but I've never heard of anything quite like this, really. I don't know. If you have, tell me in tell me in the comments section. Jesus, I'm hitting shit and this this has got this has got me rattled. My God. I don't get rattled by much, but uh TSA agents feeling of junk is enough to send anybody into peril, it seems. Yikes. Jesus. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.